In this video we'll cover how the SpaceX Falcon Heavy works, which is great for getting the kids to understand and pique their interest in it. We will review the model and talk about breakage. There will also be a time lapse speed build where we point out some things to be mindful of during the build. So strap yourself in and Godspeed. This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. We got this my own creation, Mock, from the LEGO Ideas website and we'll include a link around the video. This is a fan designer who's put forward the idea to be a real set and include in instructions if you click on the updates. As you scroll down the updates you'll see that they're from most recent to the very beginning and within that you have the instructions and all the different decals and bits and pieces you need and showing it there relative to the Saturn V and a couple of different payloads you can have, whether it's a traditional satellite or whether it was a promotional Tesla car which got sent up into space. It is a great build of medium difficulty and really meant as a display piece as it is quite fragile. I get that if it was to become a Lego set they would undoubtedly address this issue but there was always a bit of breakage with the kids handling it which was a real shame. It's not very fragile unless you play roughly with it. Well, and this is fragile, and that comes back down to earth. I'm not sure why everything keeps breaking. breaking. The reason we think it keeps breaking is because it's fragile. Yeah. Whoa, that was a close one. Hello everyone, and today we're going to be talking about the SpaceX Falcon Heavy. This is a rocket which will go into space, then it will land back on Earth safely if it doesn't explode, um, and they'll reuse it again and again and again and again. The first part that I want to show you is the boosters. The boosters can come off. Yeah. Not easily though. Mm -hmm. Not easily. So this is the set. Yeah. Let's try the, the satellite in. These are the mini things it. Stage one is boosters falling off. So it will be flying. Falcon X rocket heavy mm -hmm. boosters yeah. split up. A booster. Oh, that was stage two just popping off. So then they should make a firm landing. Those two parts are coming into the atmosphere, so you know what that means. They will finally engage the, their landing units so they should land on pad one and two we don't actually oh my gosh i don't see why that happened never mind it won't let me me put it in the proper landing mode <laughs> these boosters land back down only the main booster is going this is the main booster now when it's flying, it will be packed like right. that. And then comes stage two. Stage two is important. If the rocket explodes, which it shouldn't, before stage two, then the car won't go into the moon, onto the moon. So when it splits up, it should look like that. Yeah. So then, when it flies around and then lands, not the real one though, the Lego one. Yeah, when it flies around and then lands on the moon, then the car will be released. Is it the bit it goes up to space? No, that's the satellite. What does but the satellite do? It just goes up and then comes 
he made cakes with bones and then sent the emails and the addresses and calls to the other person who they called me. We largely built the SpaceX Falcon Heavy from pieces within our own collection. So ideally everything exposed would be in white with a few black pieces for the base of the rocket and the hinged plate 3x12 with angled side extension and tapered ends. At the time the cylinder half 2x4x5 with 1x2 cutout pieces were really hard to come by and had to order from lego.com directly as you need about 34 of these. That was a long painful process with many calls to Lego customer service. I have noticed however now it seems much easier to get 34 of those pieces all from one seller. So maybe had more sets released with this piece recently. For the instructions we basically just printed off the page from the Lego Ideas website. There actually aren't a great deal of pieces to make it up, but there are less common ones such as the cylinder half 3x6x10 with 1x2 cutout and the 32 length Technic axle, which you do need three of. You need one for each booster and helps out with the structural integrity of the booster, so I wouldn't really recommend trying to leave it out or just skip over it. And now onto the time lapse speed build. The base of all three boosters are the same, so we were able to build one each, which might get a little tedious with just one person. You can see that it's built around the 32 Technic axle, which helps compress the pieces together with anchor points throughout the length. Even then, the pieces can easily shear apart. Most of the black and grey rings should be white, but again, just dealing with the pieces we had available in our collection at the time. The center booster is obviously the one that is a little different, as it had the second stage and the payload. You also have to cut a length of 192mm tubing part 85526 to get 86mm pieces which help to bind the three boosters together in addition to the Technic pins. I know some LEGO purists are going to freak out at the idea of cutting that piece but again probably wouldn't recommend skipping it. Hence you can see the scissors and ruler in this shot here. Then onto the satellite and the red Tesla car payloads so you can choose which one you want to use. For the stickers we got some transparent inkjet adhesive film that you can stick into a regular home inkjet printer. Around the video should be a link to one of these. Just printed the stickers from the graphics that were included on the LEGO Ideas website. We may have had to scale them slightly to get the right size. So for anyone who hates applying stickers, having to make your own might be a step too far. One thing we did want to point out about this build is you really have to pay attention to the rotation of the pieces at the bottom of the boosters. If you don't, you'll end up having Technic pinhole connections underneath the long black hinge plates. This means you won't be able to connect the three boosters together. It isn't a simple job just to rotate them 45 degrees, so really watch for this when building. We also found the black hinge blade plates at the bottom generally aren't strong enough to support the weight of the boosters to simulate them landing back on earth following a launch. It might seem that we're being overly critical and we can appreciate it as a fan design and not a full blown Lego design and tested product. It is a great build but if you're going to put the time and effort to put it together we want you to know some of the issues so you don't get frustrated and disappointed by it. Or if you decide to try to do your own designs what are going to be some of the considerations in putting it together. We do appreciate all the time and effort that went into the fan design and it's great that Eiffelman has included all the information to be able to build it yourself. As you can see from the kids' explanations, it was great for them to have something hands-on and engage with so they could understand the different stages and significance of reusable rockets and returning to Earth. As you may know, rockets ne are never used again once they're used once. But this one is a special type of rocket. They're going to use it lots of times, like a shuttle. If you've ever heard of it shuffle if not then watch a video um, of space shuttles maybe or this maybe. is not a space shuttle though note that in mind this is the space x falcon heavy rocket the rockets usually rockets are only used once and cost lots of money but this rocket you can save money because it is different to all the others. How? Well, it lands on Earth, as I said, uh, safely as well. Did you know, with one or two um, space shuttles, they exploded. And guess what happens? Not bits fell down. Did you know that? They exploded. 
This is a Family Bricks video. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and if you want to be super awesome, subscribe. Click the bell and select all to be notified of new videos as they're uploaded. Thanks very much for watching. Maybe you'd like to check out the kids talking about the Statue of Liberty, or a blooper reel, or a Simpsons Lego house playthrough, or a Lego Dots pineapple pencil holder hands-on review. These and other videos you'll find on our Family Bricks YouTube channel that can be found at www youtube.com forward slash c forward slash family bricks until next time when we talk about all things lego and lifestyle